Hey, hope you guys are doing well. I'm Gersh from Solo Marketer here, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to go from a regular form like this uh, to an actual pop up form uh, like this. So if you click on it, see you have the same form, or I guess it also asks for your name, but you have a form, but it's within a pop up, so it kind of saves space on the landing page itself. Plus, it looks kind of cool. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is you want to create the pop up, do all that first, and then you connect it to a button. So the first thing, yeah, let's go up here. It says pop-ups. Uh, I already have one created, but let's just create a new one. Let's go to add pop-up and here we go. So in this case, we're going to ask for a first name and email. So we already have the email field and we have the, the button, which we should edit probably. Yeah. Now let's find the input field form input. Let's drag it in here. Let's click on it. Let's select first name. That's kind of the usual way. I would do it. It can just be an email as well, like over here, right? So the next thing we would do, I guess we can edit the headline as well. I mean, I'm going to make it really simple. L learn how I made All right, something like this. Not my best work, but let's keep it at that. And the button. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's do actual, instead of click here, let's do something more specific, more actionable. So it will be sign up form, uh, submit form, as it says here. And we're going to do to the next step because it's going to take them to the thank you page, right? And uh, button color, I guess you can change the button color as well if you want. Scroll a little bit lower, select, you know, for it to be the same as the uh, the original button. And let's change the button text. So click here will be send a free guide to my something like that. And let's just delete the other part that's unnecessary. So something like this, right? You can change up the color and all that stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, and also last thing before we leave, edit pop-up settings just up top. And here I would usually go for a show close button, which means if you click on there's going to be this X. It's kind of, uh, I don't know about you, but it's kind of irritating that if you click on something, a pop-up comes up and there's no option to take it out, like to, to just close it because you want to continue scrolling down the page. And that just kind of, you know, a lot of people will just leave because they get cornered and then they're just like, yeah, I don't need this. They're not even going to like refresh the page or whatever. It just it gets really frustrating. So this one, always keep it on and uh, open pop-up automatically. I would highly suggest keeping this off. It's there's something to me, at least personally, there's something really frustrating about just landing on a page and just immediately there's a pop up like it beats the purpose of the page itself. Like, why do you even have it there? So uh, make it a pop up by their choice instead of just shoving it in their face. And yeah, you can also this one is optional, but you can also do exit intent. That's going to be when if they kind of they don't decide to click on a button, but they go for to close the tab, this works on desktop. If they go to close the tab, it's, it still pops up. So that kind of gives them like, you know, it might capture like a couple percent more people that would have just left. So that's something you can test out definitely, but you know, that's not the primary uh, goal of this whole thing, but you can just keep it on. It's not too frustrating. People are kind of used to this and it gives them like a second chance to change their mind. So yeah, uh, we have the pop-up. So let's click somewhere else. Just a couple of times we have the pop-up ready, as you can see. Pop-up number six. I've created quite a few under this template and deleted them. And now what we want to do is we want to delete this form field. All right, let's delete it. And then let's click on the button. And instead of uh, submit form, we're going to change it to show pop-up. And we're going to connect it to the specific pop-up, which in this case is pop-up number six, as we just checked. Um, and yeah, save changes. So now once we click the button, the pop-up is going to show up. So let's go preview. But yeah, once you click on it, here it is. Definitely make sure it has the close X button. That's definitely a better approach to do this. And yeah, this is a simple form that once they fill it out, takes them to the thank you page in the funnel, whatever it looks like on your end. If you want the uh, this funnel template, it's actually below in the description. So make sure to go check it out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comment below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.